recently lost 36 inches and 30 pounds going keto. Want to know what one of my biggest secrets to success is? Tune in to learn more. Guys, how's it going? Um, you know what? I have to say, first of all, welcome back to The Kelly O Show. Second of all, I am so proud that I am shooting this video. Why? Because it is Tuesday night. Yeah, Tuesday night. It is like five, it's 545. And the reason I'm proud, it has been, you guys have probably noticed, I have been noticeably absent from my YouTube channel. Um, not on purpose. And usually, if this was a normal Tuesday night at 545, maybe not normally, um, right back here would be a new member of our household. So we got a puppy to a little over two months ago, which is why um, I have been noticeably absent. Um, <laughs> let's just say that this puppy has been a lot, has had a lot more of an impact on uh, my life and my work than I anticipated. I knew that getting a puppy uh, was going to be a lot of work. Um, and it, and like I said, I knew it was going to be a big impact. And I love, I love our baby more than you could possibly imagine. But y'all, for the, for the person in our household, there's just two of us that live here. And for the 50% of us that live at home and work from home, um, it's my life and my work that has been impacted the most. And I, my husband agrees. So, um, it has just been a crazy two months for me. Um, my productivity plummeted everything that I have been trying to do for the past two months has been delayed. Um, and you know what? You just, that's life. Sometimes when things like that happen, you just have to like really, really, oh, my pants are falling down. This is what happens with, with weight loss, the good and bad. And, and this is part of what I'm gonna talk about today. I'm going to talk about today, like I mentioned in uh, the beginning of the video, the one key factor, and, and I'm gonna share other key factors, but the one key factor um, to my weight loss transformation and success. But before I get to that, can I just point out, I want you guys to see this. Do you see this, this little jacket that I'm wearing? This is an Athleta jacket that I bought last summer when Steve and I were on a staycation in Austin. And I remember that it was like chillier than, than we thought that weekend. And I, I needed to, to get something because I hadn't packed a jacket. And so we went into the Athleta store and they only had one size left. And I think this is a medium, I think. And I just remember saying, oh, that's not gonna fit me. Um, and I was embarrassed to tell the lady that. And of course, this is what I used to always do. I remember telling the lady like, well, I'm dealing with hormonal imbalance. I just always felt like I had to explain why I was heavy because I thought everybody was looking me up and down and going, you know, why is she so heavy? Why is she overweight? You know, why? I thought everybody saw me the way that I saw myself. But anyway, I bought this and it was, it, it was so tight, so much tighter on me around the middle. It was very, very tight. Um, it was, you can see how, you can see how it's fitting me. Can you see how it's like fitting me down here? Like it's so loose, it's almost like a dress now. This fit me like a jacket, like, and it was very, very tight. So I'm saying this to you, this, this, this point is not be like, oh, look at me. This is this point, everything I do when I'm sharing this with you guys, especially I'm sharing this with you for those of you who have been tuned in and subscribed to my channel since the beginning to inspire you. And for those of you who might be stumbling on my channel for the first time, you might not know that I have been um, a fitness fanatic for a long time, but I have been struggling, unable to lose weight um, and have been carrying an extra, really, I've just been always about 20 to 25 pounds overweight and just not able to lose it for the past 
seven to eight years. Um, and I lose some, you know, I, I, I go on a diet, I'd lose five to seven pounds. I was never weighing myself. I was always terrified of the scale. So I'd lose some weight, but I'd always just gain it back. And I was just always a struggle. Um, and it wasn't until I went keto last year, June 1st, with the help and the nudge of my functional medicine doctor, um, and I stuck with it, and that's going to be the point, the, the primary point here coming up. I've lost now 36 inches and 30 pounds at the age of 52. I'm now 53. I just turned 53. But I bring up my age because I think it's really, really important for a lot of you tuning in to, to understand, you know, so many people think once you're past a certain age, you know, weight loss is going to be impossible. I'm, sh I'm living proof to show you that whether you're past a certain age, whether you're in perimenopause or menopause or past menopause, I am past menopause. I am 52. Um, I am living proof that if you get your hormones in the right place and you adopt the right diet um, and keto plus fasting plus the right supplements, that combination is like the missing link for women, particularly women in that area with those issues. And what I mean by in that area with those issues, in that age group, 40 plus, with those issues, menopause, perimenopause, postmenopause, uh, with hormonal imbalance, insulin resistance, cortisol, adrenal issues, hypothyroid, any or all of the above, you got that? What worked for me is highly likely gonna work for you. So what, what I wanted to tell you in this video is one of the key factors to my success and that is this. One of the things I realized that I've done this time around that I really have not done very well at all in the past is to religiously stick with the plan. I'm going to do a dramatic pause there for a reason. And I mean, I made the commitment to do something different, meaning keto, something that I was skeptical about, meaning keto. I took my doctor's word for it that this would work for me. So I, I decided to, to do something different that I was skeptical about. I took the, I took the advice of somebody that knows better than me. I invested in myself. Uh, I, I invested more money with this doctor on, on the hormone treatment, a lot more money than I was spending with my last doctor. Um, I decided to do it. And once I did it, I didn't stop. I haven't cheated on this diet, which I, I just use the phrase keto diet as an expression. I haven't cheated meaning strayed from this way of eating since June 1st. It is now, I'm recording this on, I think it's April 19th. Um, so for the people who say, oh, keto, low carb isn't sustainable, I call bullshit. I'm living proof that it is. To say that you can't keep the weight off, that pe people, I've had people telling me since day one, you'll gain it all back, you can't keep it off, it's not sustainable, it's not a lifestyle. What, how long is this, I've been on this 10 months now? Come on, give me a break. Um, so yes, it is. And I just want to say again, what's very different this time around for me is that I started this and I just didn't quit. And I was known in the past for starting things, whether it was a new supplement, um, a diet plan, a diet approach, um, working out with a trainer, trying a new beach body program, whatever it was, if I got into it 10 days and I wasn't seeing overwhelming results, I was convinced it wasn't working and I, wa I wanted to try something new. And I give myself credit for sticking with this and, and, and never ever changing. And, and anything that I added, I just did the same thing, meaning 
um, there were supplements that I added. And with all of those supplements, I didn't do what so many people do wrong with supplements. They give it five days or they try a little bit here and a little bit here and then they're like, it didn't do anything for me, it doesn't work. That's not how it works. You don't open up a checking account and, or a, you know, a savings account and put $5 in it and then put you know, $1.50 in it next Thursday and then a year later you check into it and go, well, that didn't work out, I didn't make any money and you close the, the, the bank account. It doesn't work that way. It, you, you put deposits into it every single day. That's how it's really going to work. And the way a supplement is going to work is if you take it every single day. And so many people stop too early. They try it sporadically and don't, they don't understand why it's not working. Well, if you read the directions, it says you have to take it twice a day or three times a day, every day. And uh, well, you know, I'm not, gonna, that's just a scam. They just want you to buy more. Come on, you know, try something. Gets it, you know, ha, what's that? What's, get some skin in the game. People never put some skin in the game. I have an, I had a new client start this week. Um, and I'm so proud of her because she is starting her, her keto diet. And she was, you know, just on a side, she was ordering her supplements and she's like, just tell me what to order because if I'm doing this, I'm not doing it half-assed. And I made her a list of what I, what I said she should be taking and she went out and she ordered all of it. And I, I just love that expression. Like, if I'm doing this, I'm good. I'm investing in myself and my future. I'm not doing it half-assed. And that's the way all of you should be looking at things. I see so many people, so many women who bitch and moan and complain about their bodies and say, I would do anything. I would do anything if I knew I could lose this weight. And then they'll come to me and I'll say, I, I, I can help you. You know, like here's, here's the options. Here, here's how I can help you. And we talk about it. And then whether it's, the cost of a functional medicine doctor, or it's the cost of my coaching, or it's the cost of the supplements, or, or whatever it is, they'll go, oh no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Why? Why are you not going to invest in yourself? But yet you'll spend money on some stupid shit for your dog or your kids, or you know, some cloth thing for your car that I saw you post on Instagram, but you won't invest in your own health. I, I don't understand. It is time for you to stop making excuses. You deserve to feel as good as I feel and to look as good as you feel. Every woman should look and feel as good as I look and feel because you know what? When you're 52, 53, like I am, and you are looking ahead at the decades ahead and you just... I'm telling you guys and girls, I should say gals, I, I'm looking forward to like my, the rest of my 50s. I'm looking forward to my 60s. I'm looking forward to my 70s. And my, I just don't even, I, don't, I never at any time think, oh, I've only got so many good years left. I don't think of that. Of course, you know, I'm throwing, you know, the options of plastic surgery in there. Yes, but most of it has to do with things under my control what I'm eating, how, how, I'm, how active I'm staying. What is in your control is so amazing. And, and the advances that have been made with science and nutrition and bioidentical hormones can change your life. And these are the things that you should be considering. And I really, 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 my primary point in this video, which I'm, I'm so glad that I chose to shoot and get up and get back into the groove um, this late in the evening. I'm really glad I'm, I, I'm really glad I decided to shoot this. I, it, it's just, you guys, let me, let me make my point. You guys have to be listening to me going, what is she talking about? I, I, I've been so out of the loop with shooting my videos that it gets, just like when you haven't worked out, this is a really good point to make actually. When you get out of out of your habit, it gets very easy to keep staying out of your habit. And when I have not been publishing my YouTube videos, just like today, today is posting a video to YouTube day. 
and it got late. My husband is picking up Bijan, our dog, from doggy daycare, and it's a rainy, crappy day outside, and I hadn't recorded my video, and it was late, and I thought that I was going to have to go pick Bijan up and blah, 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 and so I came in here, and I'm like, you know, I told myself, I'm like, I'll just record this tomorrow, and I'll start, I'll start back tomorrow. And I, that's what happens when, when you haven't worked out in a while, you go to do that first workout and you start convincing yourself, you know what? I don't feel like it today. I think I'll start back tomorrow. And you start convincing yourself because a body at rest wants to stay at rest. Same thing for when you've gotten out of the groove with whatever work it is. Your, your mind is going to convince you not to do it. It's going to convince you to make an excuse. And that's why I'm saying I'm so glad that I just did it today because now I'm going to get my first video up. And you know what? That means it's going to be that much easier to get the next one up tomorrow and the next one up the next day and the next one up. And then I'm going to be back in my YouTube groove and everybody's going to be happy because I'm here to teach you guys and serve you guys and help more people experience what I've experienced and it's all gonna be good. So that said, I am expecting a call from my husband at any second to tell me to order sushi. Yes, you can have sushi on keto. These are one of the misunderstandings that I'm gonna be covering in, in upcoming videos. So make sure that you guys are subscribed. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what questions you have about my keto transformation, my weight loss. Um, I've got some links down below you're gonna to wanna to check out. I have a brand new keto cookbook out that I've linked up down below uh, with all of the recipes. Uh, 50 plus recipes actually uh, that helped me lose the 36 plus inches, 30 pounds that I've lost. And it's just $27. That is linked up down below. And in less than two weeks, I'm going to be launching my keto boot camp. I am very excited about this. This is going to be an online keto boot camp for women. Um, this is by popular request. Uh, probably the most, the number one thing women come to me for particularly women who not can't necessarily afford my one-on-one -on -one coaching. They're like, how do I do keto? I don't know what to eat. I don't know how to meal plan. I, I don't know where to start. I don't know what I'm doing. Tell me how to do this. So I'm doing a five-day online boot camp for women. Now, when you think boot camp, a lot of people think about workouts. This isn't about workouts. This is me teaching you how to do keto the way that I did it so that you do it the right way, so that you lose weight and you keep it off and you enjoy yourself along the way. That is coming up in two weeks. If you are interested, it's only going to be $97. And here's a tip. If you buy my cookbook, which is linked down below at $27, there's a coupon in there. Anybody who buys my cookbook gets 50% off their next Kelly Alexa product. That next Kelly Alexa product can be my five-day boot camp. So you can get my keto cookbook and my five day boot camp for $75. What? All you have to do, buy the cookbook and then you can email me. You don't really have to email me, but if you want, buy the cookbook, then you automatically will be on the list. So when the uh, boot camp uh, is live, you will be notified and you will be able to purchase it at 50% off. But what you can do just to be doubly sure is you can buy the cookbook and then email me, kelly at kellyolexa.com. Shoot me a note and say, hey, I bought the cookbook. And then if you want, we'll send you an opportunity to do it early and you'll get another special bonus as well. So this is exciting stuff. Um, but again, I do want to encourage you just in summary, what I was saying today. The biggest thing I noticed about what I did differently with this transformation I experienced is that I stuck with everything. And I stuck with it longer than anything I've ever done before. So I encourage you to think about that. Um, if you're like I have been in the past where you start a lot of diets, you start a lot of workouts and you expect them to transform you or you expect to see results like, overnight that we're a microwave society that's what we all expect think about what i just said think about the fact that i have experienced the biggest transformation of my adult life when i did the one thing differently that i've not done before when i stuck with it when i stuck with everything i started 
when I didn't turn back, when I didn't stop, that's what I want, I want you to walk away from this video with. That and the fact that I have the cutest dog in the world. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Again, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you hit the like button. Please leave me some comments below. Let me know what questions you have about keto. Let me know what questions I can answer in future videos. And I will see you next time on The Kelly O Show. Thanks for tuning in. Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful for you. Just in case you're a newbie or you've been tuning in for a while and you're interested in more keto videos, tune into these. I know that they'll be helpful for you. Thank you.